Uh, the painting shows um, the Great Fire of London. Uh, we don't know the actual name of the specific painter, but it's likely to be by an Anglo Dutch artist. Um, the date range given for it is 1666, so the year of the fire itself, to 1700. The painting came to the society from one of its fellows, Sir Henry Englefield, in 1799, and that donation leads us right up to a story of this painting in 2013. So quite an extensive conservation programme was undertaken, and as a result we found quite an interesting story within the paint layers of this painting. Um, what it revealed was that the sky had been radically altered. So what had happened is, instead of um, having a daytime scene, it had been overpainted to turn it into a nighttime scene, and the moon had been added into the sky. What had also happened was the foreground had been extensively overpainted to the degree that some of the figures had changed gender. So something quite significant was going on here. Um, conservatives initially wondered whether this had occurred in the late 18th century, perhaps prior to Englefield acquiring the painting. But we know that Englefield himself refers to the painting as being a daytime scene, so that doesn't quite work. It's therefore highly possible that this overpainting was carried out in the 19th century and actually may have been a conservation response. So a painting like this on display in a historic building in central London from 1799 would have been hung above um, open fires, there would have been spaces where people were smoking. Um, so throughout that long history up to 2013, it was subject to quite a lot of pollutants. So it's highly possible that the overpainting was a conservation response to try and make sense of this image. There's also a possibility that the moon was a romantic device, a part of that romantic movement where by nighttime scenes were seen as being far more dramatic, so it would have been seen as adding to the drama of the, of the moment.